feels to me like I should get off off this lane and then turn right and that'll take me down to that discovery point. I just noticed something. Look at that piece of glass on the front. It's actually refracting light. What a superb touch. So yeah, this surely this is going to Tripoli, but it's not well signposted. <laughs> is that the... I think that's the airport over there. Presume that's what it is. I don't want to miss the the crossing, but actually, how long have we got left on the job? Right, they're expecting it between one and eight a.m. on Sunday, and it's now two in the afternoon on Saturday. Tricky to tell how far we've got. We've got a thousand kilometres left, but I don't know how far the ferry crossing is because in, that only comes in one point four, where it tells you how much distance the ferry crossing is. Fifty kilometers round here, which means we're going way too fast. I'm probably going to get a ticket. Right, so here's the here's one of the discovery points, which looks like a. Hey, I must be on the left. No, it's not. What's that? Oh, there it is. It's a truck dealer. It's a man truck dealer. The small one. I was getting confused then. Okay, which way do we want to go now? Now, do I really want to go all around there? Probably want to go to here. And... Screw it. Let's go all the way. Let's go and discover everything. It makes sense. Yeah, the uh, the front piece, the glass on the front there, is actually fracting the light and looks really nice. I hadn't actually spotted that. It's a very subtle effect. It also looks very slightly tinted. Do they really have them on the Peterbilt? I don't think you'd get away with that in the UK because it would be deemed... Um, you know, a bit like the Rolls Royce used to have, uh, and the Jaguar used to have the, um, the their emblems on the front there, and they had to remove them for safety's sake, or at least make them collapse back in. Uh, because if you hit any pedestrians, there's a garage there. Right, I need to grab that garage there. I need to make a U-turn somehow. Uh, if you hit a pedestrian, then obviously there's a risk it will cause more damage, <laughs> as it were. So I'm thinking this glass on the front, I guess it's very high up, so we probably get away with it. I'm not sure they'd like it in the UK, though. There's nowhere to turn around. There is nowhere to turn around. Apart from this, I don't want to go into that. Oh, that car's almost going to get inside of me then. Did you see him? Lovely. Textbook. U turn. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll buy this thing here. And then I'll think we'll just go straight to the airport. We'll forego the. Um... It was here somewhere. Who was it? Oh, there it is, the red one. We'll forego the, um, the extra stop down there, which is probably just a recruitment agency. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be a truck dealer because we just discovered the truck dealer. Go. If I go in this way, I should just be able to reverse straight back out when I buy it. Do you really want to buy it? Yup. There we go. We can always upgrade it later. Let's get out of it. I can't see anything. Whoa, I can see that truck though. Wow, do I need a banksman? Do I need a banksman? Is there anything coming at all? Yeah. A little car had to give away for me. Okay, so, by my reckon, it should be straight down here 
to the airport. Fantastic. And then we'll find out if we're getting on a plane or not. Or whether there's just actually a ferry there as well. I presume we're not getting on a plane. That would just be the most ridiculous thing. Unless we're getting on board a Hercules or something. Because I don't think this is going to... All this furniture and this great big Peterbilt. I can't imagine what kind of plane this would get in the back of. Is this a speed camera? No. Oh, I don't want to lose momentum. Come on. Look, Tripoli was to the right. That was to the docks. So we're not going to the docks. That's very, very interesting. I can't wait to see what happens. It's just not making any sense to me right now. I can see the docks on the right, or is that the... Where it says Ikea. I don't know. Let's just see where it goes. It's like I feel like Alice in Wonderland. This isn't making any sense, but it's also interesting. I can get this guy around the outside. Wow, that, that mirror is super widescreen. I noticed the um, these American trucks don't have any mirrors down the front so that you can see you know where the front of the truck is uh, whereas even even the European cab over trucks now have mirrors just where the sun visor is so that you can see down the front of the truck is that something that's appeared at all on, on more recent American trucks all you American truckers out there, have, uh, have they got anything like that? Do you know what I mean? Sort of mirrors down the front so that you can see where the front of the... Because obviously in front of the, of the hood though, you can't see anything. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Damn. That, see what I mean about the steering wheel? It is a joystick feature. It just doesn't turn in a, a proper linear fashion. There's a plane coming in. Oh wow, look at that. Hang on a sec. We'll get a better view of this. How many planes? Fantastic. Is that Lufthansa? Whoa. <laughs> Too much sightseeing. Okay, we want to go left here. I'm glad I jumped back in. I was trying to work out if that was a Lufthansa plane. Just looking at the emblem on the back. Look at, look at the right on the minimap. It's taken us to the an airport symbol. This... <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. Well, this is it. Whoa! Another plane coming in. Awesome. Awesome. Not watching where I'm going whatsoever. Too busy enjoying this wonderful scenery. Honestly, guys, SCS, if you watch this, you've got to put more of this stuff in your game. I want to see all the major airports of Europe in here. Planes taking off, you know? Doing real deliveries to these airports would be brilliant. One of the things I really want, though, is the ability to, to take trucks full of, um, you know, ballast or whatever, and you actually have a crane on the back and you have to then operate the crane. Here we go. What on earth is going on? This is the airport. This is actually the airport. Holy crap. What are we saying here? We're actually getting the plane. Okay. I 
can't see any other form of transport that's going to take us apart from the plane. Let's get the plane. Where are we going? Roma. Train, train station? Train station? What, we're going to get a train across the Mediterranean Sea to Roma via Sicily? I don't think so. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is some kind of weird underground rail network that I don't know about. That's ridiculous. Well, at least it explains it. It's not a plane, even though it says airport. That's just brilliant. Right, where are we? We're in Roma, apparently. Fantastic. Plane's coming in. What a sight. Okay. So, here we are in Roma. And... Our delivery point... <laughs> oh, wow. Our delivery point is here. I did not expect that. Hey, look at this road network. It's like a, a ring road with a series of junctions coming off it. That is the weirdest thing. These are all new in CSM as well. I wonder if we can pick up a job around here. Hmm. So, I mean, Having been a thousand kilometers away, thinking I'm at least going to have to drive a few hundred at the end of it, it turns out I've got zero kilometers. And the game's expecting me to deliver it by 1 a.m. And it's now 8 o'clock at night. So the only question I've actually got is where the heck is the delivery point? U turn and then there. All right. Come on, mate. Italia. El Roma. I think I'm going to go this way. I think he let me out. The Mercedes guy. I think he was in shock, actually. He was looking at the truck going, What the hell are you doing here in Italy? Let's zoom this map in a bit. I think that's it over there, that thing. Oh wow, cars parked down the middle of the road. Look at all the cars in that car park. Impressive. Yeah, here's the delivery point. Um, whoa, hang on, how do we get in here? Do we get in that way? I don't, I'm a bit not used to these guys. It's like that van just pulled up in the middle of the road there and stopped. That's kind of weird. I could go into the yard and then reverse, or I could have fun and reverse through here, but <laughs> that could go horribly wrong. Let's do the sensible thing. Now, can we turn all the way around like this so we can get a near side reverse rather than an off side reverse? Yes, we can. And because in this wonderful thing, I can actually look out the mirror, look out the uh, window. Which I couldn't in the Kenworth. I can actually see what's going on. Which is kind of nice. Come on. Easy does it. I'd say that that is bang on. If I do say so myself. Driven distance 800 kilometers. Plus a 1,000 kilometer journey. That actually put my level up quite a bit on the XP front there. 29 grand, didn't notice that in the cash. <laughs> that just about covers the fuel. <laughs> right, let's... Um Let's have a quick look around Roma and find a rest stop because I need to go to sleep, don't I? Because although I'm not having to... Actually, I can just reverse up here. 
Although I'm not having to go to sleep, um, I do want to simulate simulate it in some way. You know, it's night time. I really should be resting at this point. Can I just turn around here? Where is the rest of? Okay, so this is a bit off the beaten track. Oh, look! Is that the um, up ahead? Is that where the Pope hangs out? You see it? Oh, look, there's a, a pickup point here. There is a. Oops. There is a rest point here. According to this. Oh, look at the trucks. Look what's here. Actually, I think I'll go and fill up while we're here. I tell you what, driving a truck in this camera is pretty weird. <laughs> what the hell? Let's see if I can park it up. Oh, it changed camera on me. That was funny. How much is fuel? One pound thirty-five. Not that far off the real price in the UK, actually. Can we park? Hmm, where can we park? All the spaces are gone. This isn't very nice. Hey, who's that around the corner? Did you see that guy, or was it a woman? Turn this is a parking bay. It is as well. It is as well, it's just not painted. Look. Um. Hey, love. Excuse me. Uh, what exactly are you doing? I mean, I know there are a bunch of truckers around here, but I'm not sure what you're doing is entirely legal. What are she, what is she doing? I think she's doing some yoga. <laughs> what? Maybe it's like that weird energy stuff the Chinese do, you know, they kind of move energy around the body by waving their arms around really slowly. And I forget the Tai Chi or whatever it's called. Looks a bit like that. Although I think it's a bit dodgier hanging around here with all these truckers. I think it's very dodgy. Time to go to sleep and find another job. Okie doke. Job market. Here we go. Now we are here in Roma. Wow, how many jobs? One, two, three, four, five pay Let's check them. Going out of Roma. <gasps> Ooh, that looks t that looks nice. That looks nice. Nine tons of cars. Going through Livorno up to Genoa, then down to Algier, and that'll take me all the way down to... Is that Casablanca? Oh, that looks tasty. That's in the morn favourite right now. But let's let's see what else we got. There's another one. It's a Casablanca. Forklifts. What was the first one? Sports cars. That would look tasty on the back of this thing. Sports cars are forklifts currently. I can't believe how many jobs there are out of this town. All these are going in into mainland, which I want to stick with Africa for a while because we've not really explored it properly. One into Biskra, but that's more of a very short, two very short journeys and a ferry crossing. That's not very exciting. Okay, so the question is, how long is the Fort Lift one? Offer expires in an hour, and this one expires in 21 hours. I think we'll take this because we can have a quick look around Roma. And also sports cars are really cool. Uh, so where do we want to go? We want to go out of here. We want to get out of here and go around and go right into the centre of Roma. So if we take either a left or a right. Wow, this is like, it's like Milton Keynes this. If you're from the UK, you'll know what I mean. If you've ever been to Milton Keynes. It's just a, 
Milton Keynes is, you know, in, in, in the US you don't have many roundabouts, or rotaries as you call them. Uh, there's probably more roundabouts in Milton Keynes than there are in the entire... Oh, come on, I thought I'd missed that. That was terrible. I honestly thought I'd missed that. There are probably more roundabouts in Milton Keynes than there are in the entirety of North America. I shit you not. What on earth is going on over here? This looks like a, a gigantic warehouse. Yeah, it is. I've seen these before. Like distribution centers. See, you should get deliveries to here. I don't know if you do or not. Wow, there's just so many delivery points. Look at the size of this thing. I like how there's a fuel station here because they know trucks are going to be coming here. That's quite funny. Is that a boat? It is as well. <gasps> Why can't we get one of them? I want one of them. I want to pick that up as a delivery. Bloody hell, who put a boat in this game, for God's sake? Why is that not some freight that I can move around? Oh, brilliant. That's something else that could be in the game. They could put boats in the game. So, you know, if you're a successful trucking company, GTA style, I could get a boat, I could I could uh, rent a, a dock or a harbour, or some mooring, and take a sports boat out, go blasting it around the water, GTA style. I'm not sure if it can fit under there. I'm not sure it goes anywhere anyway. Let's get out of here. This is an enormous thing. I got, look how frequent these planes come in. I mean... <laughs> And it looks like it's always the same one to me. Right, I think it was down here, wasn't it? Is that like a mini stadium being made over there? Looks, looks like one. Okay, I think I'm going to turn right out of here. That's a busy car park. I love the way they park down the middle of the road. They actually do this in Italy. They have parking areas down the centre, between the... Um, it's always amazed me how people don't end up with their cars a lot more damaged because people do stupid things. You know, a lot of parked cars down the middle of the road is asking for trouble. Particularly people trying to do U-turns, I would have thought. Whoa, that... Shit, that car's still on my inside. What the hell? Did he just speed up? He did as well. I very nearly cut him up. It was only the wide-angle lens I just saw the top of his roof. But yeah, he put his foot down big time. I couldn't keep up with that. Now, I think we want to... Yeah, Roma is this way. We've got to go over there. We've got to go, got to go sightseeing. Oh, here he is. He's speedy boy. Not so speedy up the hill. We all know what you're going to do next, pal. You're going to put your foot down, aren't you? I don't want to get off here. I think I... Whoa! I think I want to get off here. I am guessing. It only said Napoli. It didn't say Roma. But it, could, it, it kind of feels like this goes the right way. Whoa, shit. You've got to be careful you don't fall off there. Straight into that ravine. Yeah, I was right. Roma. My sense of direction was bang on. Now, let's take a right here and see what this discovery point is. Where's the, um... Whoops. I going to say, where's the Pope's little hut gone? Back there some more, I think. No, we don't want to go in there. Oh, that's cool. A shell refinery. Awesome. I think we want to go around and then take a left. Come around the back. Now, is that going to be a truck dealer? Because that would be a bit of a weird place for a recruitment agency. And I don't think I can make a left because it feels like we're about to go over the top. It's not a junction. <laughs> it's not a junction. Bugger. Well, I guess I have to go left here and left again. 
There's actually two discovery points there, so one's definitely going to be a truck dealer. Come on, lights. You need some uh, sensors on here. You know they have traffic sensors on a lot of lights. And it detects when there's no traffic. That's what they need. Oh, the turning circle. Come on. Look at the wheel suddenly speed up. That's about to smash the, the truck in yet again. I think I want to be over that side. There it is. I bet you can't get very close to it. Well, maybe you can, but I bet the texture, texture um, details are very low quality. Right, let's take a left here. Followed by another left here. Yeah. Not much traffic around, I have to say. This actually goes down. Look at this. Right next to a chimney stack. Is that a Renault? That's a Renault. Must drive one of those at some point. <clears throat> Recruitment agency. Well, you're not going to get many bloody jobs, mate, because honest to God... Your agency is such a pain in the bum to get to. You are in the worst possible location. Let's go find out what this truck dealer is up here. What is it? What is it? What is it? I can't see. What is that? Iveco. It looks like Iveco. Look, I remembered the parking brake. First time in three videos. <laughs> Look, I can see how low quality that texture is over there. Actually, put the yellow light on. Watch the lever. There you go. Yay! All technically accurate as well. Oh my god. I can't get used to the front corner of that thing. I've Echo Dealer. Okay, guys, right. We're going to round up the video here. Um, but not without asking you guys a question. Engine off. The question is, quite simply, you know I'm about to take sports cars, yeah, back to Africa, and you know I'm in Roma. Do you want me to stay with this truck and take these sports cars back to Africa or do you want me to trade in for an Iveco truck and take the sports cars to Africa leave me your comments and let me know which one you want me to do this truck or an Iveco to Africa that's it for this video until next time take care guys and happy trucking <laughs>